Welcome back. After a month of completely redoing our van, we are back on the road and at one of the most beautiful spots. Once we finished up the build, we basically were stinging to have a bit of an adventure, so I decided to zip straight over to the Air Peninsula. So the past couple of days I've spent traveling about like eight or nine hours. Uh, the weather hasn't been too great, but we've got a beautiful day ahead of us. So I thought we'd check out Coffin Bay National Park. But first up, coffee, of course. to nice coffee spots. Oh, it feels so good. How <laughs> good does it feel? Oh my Not God. industrial estates <laughs> for a change. Oh man, it feels so good to be back on the road. It does, and in, in such a beautiful spot. Yeah, wow. So we're just, we've just been watching the sun slowly rise above the water and already it's showing the most crystal clear water. Yeah, incredible. And it's probably not even eight o'clock in the morning yet, so we still have the whole day to explore. And the days are long down here too. They're getting, the sun's setting at like nine or something. So we've got <laughs> we a, a day. big day ahead. It's supposed to be absolutely beautiful. Sadly in Coffin Bay, it, there's not a whole lot of access for two wheel drives like Mance. So there's heaps of four wheel driving. So I'm sure you could spend like a week or two here. But for us, I think we're gonna make the most of one really nice full day and we've got a campsite booked in the park um, tonight and then we'll probably move on after that the weather's really strange on the air peninsula wind is a massive factor and then in south australia we've just found that it fluctuates so so much so it's basically making the most of everything we can so massive day today here um, we just sort of look out at the moment but then we're going to move on over to uh, check out one of the beaches we can access basically go from there, who knows what the day brings. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, there's no one here, not a soul in sight. It looks like there might even be a bit of a wave. And that water, my God, get me in that water. <laughs> I know we've said that many times, but this beach is insane. There is no one else here. The water is crystal clear, so blue. Glenn saw dolphins when he was surfing. 
which he thought was a shark at first. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't. I got a bit of a scare. Being in South Australia and all, I saw one fin and I was like, oh no, here we go. But it was a beautiful pot of dolphins for a little while. Yeah, it's just absolute paradise. So this is Almonte Beach and it's one of the only ones in Coffin Bay National Park that you can access two wheel drive. There's a main, so there's a main car park that we pulled up to first. Um, and it, it's just all tarmac road, easy access. And then the one we went on is a little bit more off-roady, which thankfully I think deters more people. And it's a fair bit further down the beach than that main car park, which is furthest. I don't even know my bearings anymore. I don't know. I don't know what we're <laughs> facing. Peninsula changes ever all the time. Furthest up the end. So we've come down like about a kilometer or so, which deters a lot of people, I think. And you're not going to walk from that first car park. So got it all to ourselves. I can't believe it. This is one of the biggest beaches too. Yeah. And I can't see another person inside. I feel like we're on another country. It's beautiful. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's well worth the trip if you ever come down here, Almonte Beach. Put it on your list. Put it on your list. <laughs> Put it on your list. <laughs> we're probably going to spend the rest of the day just hanging out, enjoying it, soaking it up. Making because, the most of this nice weather. Yeah, too. there's barely any wind. The weather's perfect and no one's here. So we're just going to enjoy this. Maybe drive around and explore a bit more just to see the sights. And that's pretty much our day. <laughs> protected as well doesn't seem it but it would be way worse just over that hill over there mm. this <laughs> classic is, yeah, air peninsula like, this is on the other side of the beach so it's a bit more protected or as protected as it can be i suppose yeah. but it's a nice little spot so yeah. we're just uh hanging out and we're probably gonna make some dinner soon have a quiet night <laughs> yeah i've had so much sun today i know i'm, I'm so the sun tired. just drained me so much you're so so <laughs> yeah my skin is not used to the sun anymore. Oh, it's so good. <sighs> yeah, it's just a quiet night in nature. Yum, stir fry. Look at the kangaroos. Cute. Good morning. Had a really nice sleep in. Um, and sleep in general last night. It was nice and cold, which is good for nighttime, but not so nice for the day, but we'll take it. Um, so we just slept in, just woke up and making a coffee. And then I think we will also make some pancakes <laughs> because we haven't had a nice like sleep in breakfast in a while and it's a good, good spot for it. So gonna make some pancakes and then 
I don't know, try to figure out what else we're going to do with the day because the weather's not looking too good. Um, and we do have a lot of life admin stuff to do. Uh, so we'll see. But first, coffee and pancakes. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yum. Pancake time. How are we looking? That pancake is usually a disaster, so we'll see how the flip goes. That looks pretty good. So far. Look who came for a visit. You want some Becky? <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Look at these fancy pancakes. Probably as fancy as if you've ever had them. Okay, the last few days have been a little bit weird because it was very windy. So we just ended up doing a lot of researching on places that we definitely know we want to go back to when the weather is really good. So not too much to show for that. And then yesterday afternoon, we ended up catching up with a friend of ours, Ryan, who's got this souped up like four wheel drive van from the 80s that he's done up so nicely. So we met him out at Lincoln National Park. Uh, he took us for a bit of dune bashing in the four wheel drive, which was so much fun. But so cool. Vans couldn't come, poor fella. <laughs> Uh, but then we've, we've made our way back into town because the next two days we've got some really exciting stuff ahead. Yeah, the, the next two days we are doing some really big bucket list activities. We won't share what it is just yet, so you will have to tune in to the next episode to see what we get up to. But we promise it will be a good one. So we'll see you then.